everybody. Welcome back to our next set of sea days. Our first sea day is from Grenada to Devil's Island. Maybe. But first up, it's laundry day every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so keeping things fresh and clean even on the high seas. We enjoyed a fun and engaging Meet the Staff session. At dinner, one of our table mates surprised the wonderful wait staff with Christmas stockings as a thank you for their fabulous service. We also had a mandatory meeting with the staff to ensure all of our visas were properly arranged. When we returned to our room, we found raincoats added to our swag collection. The entertainment that night was Etta May, who was a comedian, on our way to Devil's I don't Island. People don't have cats. <laughs> That's just cruel, man. So unfortunately, the captain told us that we are skipping Devil's Island due to weather. This is a tendered location, and it would not be safe for all passengers. So, time to go get some breakfast in the Windjammer. The staff had to totally rearrange the entire crew's compass and entertainment since it's now a sea day. So our next sea day was Christmas Eve. And the crew was working hard keeping the ship clean. We got to meet the captain. We also celebrated Christmas by connecting with the whole family on Zoom. When we got to the main dining room, we had a special Christmas menu. All of the staff had on their Santa hats. The evening's entertainment was Britain's finest. And then Tom and I shared a special dance Christmas Eve. At 9 o'clock in the morning, the captain stated that we are going to be crossing the equator and we're actually going to be doing a donut, so we crossed the equator three times. Santa showed up to give all the kids a gift that was age 17 and under. We had Christmas cake in the Windjammer for lunch. Tom and I got each other a spa treatment for Christmas. Then Royal Caribbean put on a Christmas night variety show. Our next stop is Fortaleza, Brazil, and we'll see you there. Mm -hmm. 